Hi, I'm Paul Vunak, and this video is about attributes. I'd like you to know right up front that this isn't going to be a technique video. If you're looking for techniques in Jeet Kune Do, I've got six tapes out. Go ahead and check those out. But this particular tape is about attributes, and attributes are about the way techniques are done. There are thousands of martial arts styles, and each style claims that they're the best. Everybody wants to know as I travel around, what's better, Paul? Is Thai boxing better than Savat? Is trapping better than kicking? Is punches better than traps? That's not the mentality I'm looking for. It's that linear logic of the Western mind that keeps most martial artists complacent. What Bruce tried to do is he tried to break us out of that mold. He would say, we want to get to the roots of the problem. And the roots of the problem do not lie within technique. They do not lie within martial arts style. The roots of the problem lie within attributes. Attributes are qualities that make techniques work. A quality like speed, or power, or timing, or spatial relationship, or line familiarization. These are all of the qualities that if you put two people in a room, one person walks out, the other person gets carried out. The person that walked out had the superior mix of attributes. Now what I'd like you to do is check out this film clip I have. It's not about martial arts, but it's what I consider very good attributes. What you just saw here was the epitome of attributes. But I want you to pick up on a point. The techniques that they did, a tackle, a pass, a slam dunk, these are the same techniques that every other basketball or football player does. Take, go all the way back to high school. High school players dunk, high school players pass the ball, they dribble, they shoot, they set screens. College players, same thing. These are the techniques of the game. NBA, same thing. But why are there a few individuals that stand out, excel, your Magic Johnsons, your Dominique Wilkins, your Michael Jordans. What makes these people different? They don't know any style of basketball that's better than any other style of basketball. It's not a hard style of basketball or a soft style or a circular style. It's just one thing. Their attributes happen to be a higher level. So this is the same thing with martial arts. Why people stand out in sports is the same th reason for why they stand out in martial arts, because their attributes are a higher level. And this is what JKD is all about, the development of attributes. And attributes are the points that make every technique work, regardless if it's a tackle in football or a jump shot in basketball or whatever sport or art you're talking about. So this videotape is going to be about attributes. It's going to be about training. You're going to see techniques in it, but it's not there to teach you techniques. In fact, most of the things we'll be doing, you won't probably know what's going on. We'll be doing it pretty fast and it's done at a higher level because it's not here to show you the basic fundamentals. We're here to show you a mentality. If you can pick up this tape and check out the mentality and if we can just raise your level of understanding of why somebody wins a street fight and that is because of the superior mix of attributes. If we can just raise that level and give you a feeling through you watching the tape, this is my goal. I'll be a happy camper. So with this in mind, we're going to go to the gym, and the first attribute we're going to work is body mechanics. As I said before, the weapons bring out the body movement, particularly the blade. When you touch with a blade, in order to do damage, you have to slice with it. So it's not a hitting weapon as much as a slicing weapon. And in the process of this slicing, you're moving your body. It creates a necessity to twist, to turn. It brings out the body mechanics. 